Welcome to Shelf Life Book Reviews Online. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch my videos, which hopefully you do find informative. And when you go to your local bookstore, you'll very seriously consider the book that I'm about to review, and it is a great one. It is called Zeppelins, The Golden Age of Airships by James Troutman. This is published by Firefly Books and it retails for $49.95. It is a classic coffee table book in every sense of the word. And when we're talking about Zeppelins, no, we're not talking about the band Led Zeppelin. We are talking about those huge airships that uh, were at one time um, considered to be the future of flight. Uh, when they were made, they were massive structures as some as long as 500 feet long, 38 feet in diameter or more. And uh, the person who started them all was Count Ver Ferdinand von Zeppelin. And uh, he began the um, Zeppelin company. Now, he thought that Zeppelins would be the future of travel. Uh, you know, this was before uh, airplanes were, you know, ever created and ever considered for flight. Uh, but the Zeppelin had uh, a lot of issues. Uh, Zeppelin had a lot of problems getting funding for to get the Zeppelins built. So um, he got help from, um, and I have notes here, so excuse me, the Duke of Baden uh, gave him money to help with, uh, well, to help fund the, the airship to be built. And uh, he got a lot of other private investors, but the government was, was very, very reticent to uh, offer any financial assistance, thinking, literally, they're not going to get off the ground. Well, Zeppelin did make, finally, uh, a Zeppelin. It was called the LZ-1. And uh, in its maiden flight, he had a lot of you know, hope for it. Well, it was only in the air for 20 minutes and then it came down. It had, you know, uh, different issues such as engine problems and uh, like they say, back to the drawing board. And he did not give up. He, he refined it, he tweaked it, and uh, the Zeppelin company was around for quite some time, but there was an American uh, who wanted to do this. His name was Walter Wellman. And he um, had a Zeppelin created because he wanted to cross the Atlantic Ocean. That was his dream, and he was going to use a Zeppelin. So off he took, or off he lifted uh, in New York, and he thought the flight would be six days. Well, on board was also a stray stowaway cat, <laughs> uh, and uh, he was up in the air, and he, 38 hours later, he had to land. He was having engine trouble. Now, the Zeppelins that were created, um, some of them, um, like Ferdinand's was, like I said, 419 feet long, but it used 400,000 cubic feet of hydrogen, so it would you know, lift off and stay in the air. But what they found the most problems with was if wind turbulence came, it you know, uh, pushed it out of its flight path, and also engines uh, did not work as well as they had anticipated. So uh, in World War I, Zeppelins were a very popular uh, sort of weapon that was used by uh, all sides in the war. Uh, in the book, there are five pages of charts of every Zeppelin that was used in the war, and there's hundreds of them, and um, what they were used for and their end fate. Uh, a lot of them crashed, a lot of them were shot down because they were so big. They were a huge, you know, sitting duck target, literally. Um, you know, if you saw a Zeppelin, it's not like uh, the later planes, the stealth bombers, where, were, where they weren't so big and you really couldn't see them the same. But uh, the book is absolutely fascinating. It's got a lot of vintage pictures. I can't show you every picture, of course, but there are, you know, as we all remember, the Hindenburg, uh, that Zeppelin that you know everybody thought was a, you know one of the greatest made, and uh, there are lots of other photos of Zeppelins you know flying over cities, and um, also they were used in World War II, 
And the Germans even had a vision of sending ze Zeppelins over to New, to New York with bombs to bomb New York City. And uh, that sort of went by the wayside because the Germans realized that they had to fly from Germany way over to this New York and by the time they got there uh, likely they, they would definitely be sighted and likely they would be shot down or else the engines would fail and they just wouldn't make it. So if you're looking for a very very thorough book about Zeppelins and you're fascinated by flight uh, this book is definitely one that takes off and soars to incredible heights. Uh, if you have any friends who like aviation books uh, this one is a classic in every sense of the word. You will not be disappointed if you do purchase this book. So uh, let me know if you do purchase it and uh, if you agree with my review. So as always, I do thank you for taking the time to watch my video. Um, hopefully you'll be back for more because there's a lot more to come. I've gotten over 300 and I think 75 or close to 400 at last count. So I enjoy doing these. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I get a lot of feedback. And the most important thing is I'm getting you to read books. So until we meet again, stay safe, stay sane, stay in touch, and I will see you at the bookstore. Bye for now.